Studying butterflies and their life cycles we couldn't help but make an analogy between cocoons and universities where men become gentle and women become ladies, boys become men and girls likewise women, but culture is seen all the more in those like butterflies displaying beautiful colors spread their wings to fly. The butterfly, known as the common buckeye is taxonomically labeled the Junonia cinia. The common buckeye is most populous in Mexico and east of the Rocky Mountains in the United States. Its ancestor comes from Africa. There is a gray common buckeye that derived from one of the Junonia gria who live west of the Rocky Mountains. In a butterfly study in undergraduate pageantry, we attempt to present a brighter side of Memphis where ladies and gentlemen are distinguished from those only women and men. When we think of butterflies, we think of things more feminine, but they are as much masculinely so. One the butterfly, known as the Painted Lady is taxonomically labeled the Vanessa Cardui. Not found in South America the Painted Lady is found widely on every other content more so than arguably any other. This butterfly has a cousin in Australia whose range is half the country while there for some reason it has limited range in the vicinity of Bunbury, Fremantle, and Rottnest Island. Here they have a healthy widespread population. We aren't saying that only ladies and butterflies are analogous, but aesthetically measured by other qualities such as mannerism and intelligence the few young men chosen performed beautifully. <laughs> To the butterfly, known as the monarch is taxonomically labeled the Denos plexippus. The phylogeny of Junio may be by way of a colonizing ancestor from Africa. Three Junios, Atlites, Ephida, and Hedonia diverged in Asia morphologically different from those African. They are said to disperse until they find a suitable habitat. In such habitats speciation could occur. Expanding the monarch from Africa made its way to the Americas. There were established populations reported in the Florida Keys and Cuba in the 1930s and others elsewhere. Three the butterfly, known as the American lady is taxonomically labeled the Vanessa virginiensis. In England by naturalists the American lady would be considered a painted lady as they closely resembled. It was called the Papilio bella donna dicta, butterfly bell, called donna, in Latin by the naturalist James Padiver, but similar specimen captured in England were distinguished as Papilio hunter though known sometime as hunter's butterfly. W.J. Holland personified the butterfly and John Dunn hunter a better hunter than most.
For the butterfly, known as the Viceroy is taxonomically labeled the Limonitis archipus. Few things say North America like the Viceroy whose range doesn't leave the states. The state butterfly of Kentucky it looks similar to the monarch and was thought to be a harmless species that evolved to mimic other more harmful species whose warning signals identifies a common foe as in Bacheon mimicry. However, predators find the Viceroy distasteful, so it looks more like a Mlyrian mimic or phenomenon naturally occurring where behavioral coincidences are taken for granted. Five the butterfly, known as the Hackberry Emperor is taxonomically labeled the Asterocampus Celtis. This North American butterfly is certainly distinguished in its name where a tree shares the same name. The Hackberry Emperor is a part of the brush-footed butterfly family. The Hackberry tree is not only where tour butterfly lives but also where it lays eggs. As the only plant the Hackberry Emperor will be hosted, larvae laid in the tree by butterflies find it as well a food source. Seldom is this butterfly spotted stopping by flowers which is a notable characteristic but all the more unusual. Six the butterfly, known as the red spotted purple is taxonomically labeled the Limonitis arthemis astyanax. This butterfly is found only in America and also known as the white admiral. Often less dominant use defense techniques where mimicry is biology evolved resemblance is clearly seen, or should we say not seen. We can see distinctions between the northern and the southern. The northern group are considered white admirals. The southern group is called the red spotted purple. The white admiral's band around the surface of the dorsal and ventral of the wing is quite prominent. In the south the butterfly mimicking the pipe vine swallowtail over time evolved and now lacks the white band which are now replaced with colorful spots. Seven the butterfly, known as the morning cloak is taxonomically labeled the Nymphalis antiopa. Native to North America, Europe, and Asia and Britain the same butterfly is called the Camberwell beauty. This butterfly has a lifespan of about a year and is of the larger ones we see. Though they can be found most anywhere, they are more readily dispersed throughout habitats where forests and wooded areas can shelter their size. Three distinct forms inhabit these United States in the eastern, northern, and southwestern. Thing that I would 
8. The butterfly, known as the pearl crescent is taxonomically labeled the Physiodes the rose. Though not found on the west coast of the United States the pearl crescent lives throughout the rest of North America from Mexico to Canada and Ontario in particular. Black antenna knobs distinguish males of the species. An ornate orange and black pattern where post median and submarginal spaces have fine black lines crossing each other adorn the upper side of its wings. The underside they have a crescent lightly colored contained by a dark marginal patch. Nine, the butterfly, known as the question mark is taxonomically labeled the polygonia interrogationes. This butterfly is of the larger categorized as a nymphalid butterfly. Living in wooded areas often in public parks, the underside of this butterfly's wing has a color and texture which looks and feels similar to a dead leaf providing camouflage for its better protection. On the underside there is a silver mark on most with two parts, a curved mark and a dot which give it its common name. Beginning in May its flight period lasts until September. This hollow metabolous insect in its lifetime goes through four stages, an egg, embryo, a caterpillar, larva, a chrysalis, pupa, and a butterfly, omega. And the butterfly, known as the eastern comma is taxonomically labeled the polygonia comma. This butterfly is of the nymphalidae family which is the largest group of butterflies and lives throughout northern America. Seasonably variable where its hind wings in the summer on the upper side are black while in the winter they turn more so reddish. Both in the summer form or in its winter transition the underside of its wings are marked by light and dark brown stripes. But as butterflies life cycle is around a year long or less humans have much more time to better themselves and in so doing bring about a brighter side with attitude. That concludes this study of butterflies literally and figuratively where, when those literal can't be found, figuratively we see them all the more as ladies and gentlemen who seeing a brighter side of Memphis become citizens of tomorrow by serving their communities today. Thank you for your time and consideration.